Howdy, Reed Desert Boy here. Hey, you know, kind of got to where I was making some of these videos without Pam. I kind of enjoyed it there for a moment, so let me just take it off. Um, one of the things I'm, uh, just this little bit, um, one of the things I've, I was, if you notice, I've been, you know, picking up different, different ones like the 380. The titanium one's probably the newest one that I got. The PPKS, of course, that's a classic thing. A lot of things you're going to see me buy because I have a particular use for them. Remember, I'm concentrating on what works for me. And these are my opinions and my thoughts on what works for me. You need to talk to your own experts and, you know, get your own opinions on those things. Um, and see what best works for you in your situation. Now, some of the ones, I bought some other ones that we'll see over the next weeks or whatever. Um, and uh, hopefully, you know, it'll be interesting to hear my, my thoughts on it. But, uh, you know, if that's helpful for you. But, you know, I, we have different reasons why we get something. So, you know, I, I got this other one here. And, you know, uh, we're going to talk about here in a moment. We're going to talk about the governor. Okay, and the governor. We're not talking politics here. You know, of course, there's a judge, too. Taurus says the judge with... Five rounds, but this governor, as you're starting to think, is probably that Smith and Wesson one. Now, you know, before we start looking at it, why in the world would somebody buy this gun? When we, we when I pull it out, you know, that's a pretty weird looking gun. You know, it's not like any other gun you're going to see. It's a revolver, as you know, I like revolvers. Um, so. Um, for me, it fulfills different purposes, right? When we look at the governor, the governor has the ability to shoot 45 Colt, 45 ACP with the use of moon clips, either partial ones or full ones, uh, which are little metal clips that kind of like a speed loader in a way that holds the bullet uh, there in the cylinder because ACP rounds don't have a rim on them like a 45 Colt. So that it will be in a proper position to use it and have it uh, the primer to be struck and so forth. And then it shoots two and a half inch, four ten shotgun shells. So this is a kind of a multi-use weapon. Some people would say, well, you know, maybe it's not good at any of those things. Some people would say it's very good for having flexibility, which I think is the case. And for me, a lot of times, you know, 45 Colt is usually a round that people find in, you know, single action, uh, possibly hunting, like if you have a Ruger Blackhawk, I had one for a while, I'm sorry I gave it up, or, you know, uh, in cowboy action type things, everything from a Ruger Vaquero to more, you know, like the single action army, the Colt, you know, a very expensive gun, to, uh, to the more moderately priced, uh, Imports like Uberti and Pieta, you know, that are usually based on the 1873 Cattleman, although there's a variety of other uh, models like the 1875 Outlaw and things like that, uh, along with lever action guns that all shoot 45 Colt. So, but there's not that many double action 45 Colt guns out there. Smith and Wesson uh, made their Model 25. In both ACP 45 ACP but also in 45 Colt and finding the 45 Colt one I saw one here a while back it's in a more traditional classic uh, a model 25 look to it with the blue blue to metal and the wood grips and all that and I, I didn't pick it up and I, I missed out on that now, some people have found those in a the mountain gun which is the four inch barrel one those are really nice to find if you can find them they're kind of pricey probably so now they've chatted for longer than probably necessary let's take a look at this for a minute and i'll continue to share a little bit about why this is useful me for me but the primary reason for me is it does give me finally a firearm that's actually a double action single action revolver where i could shoot 45 Colt. So first of all, there it is. Now, that's not a very, a very normal looking gun. I believe this is called a Z frame, if I remember right. They call it an extra large frame, but I think they used to call it a Z frame. 
And it also comes in a, a um, metal finish, a light metal finish. This one I got particularly because it has the night sights on it. So it's got a, uh, so that's kind of nice. And uh, it's a, uh, it's not as heavy as it looks. Oddly enough, this gun is 29.9 ounces. Now, the the barrel has a steel insert, right? And of course, let's check it unloaded. Of course, let's we've got it. No rounds in there, completely unloaded. It's got a massive cylinder, of course, but it's got uh, a steel, an insert uh, for the barrel is steel. Um, the cylinder is steel, of course. And then uh, the other parts of it, this frame is a what they call scandium alloy. So it makes it lightweight. There's some other guns that take advantage of that as well in the Smith & Wesson line. And then it's got these kind of grippy style uh, synthetic kind of rubber type grips to give you a good grip on it. Covers up the back strap, you know. It's got some finger grooves on it, you know. Probably, most of the time, probably going to be, you know, whatever your hold is for two hands, you know. But that's it's a pretty intimidating looking weapon. Um, it's basically got sights that are, if you can see that there, it's got the dot down there. But that's a night sight in this gutter, you know, with kind of blackout on each side of it. And, of course, it traditionally, the... If you want to open it up, the, the uh, you know you have to slide with the Smith and Wesson. You slide it forward, then you push it out. And it's got a, a, a very full length ejector rod. Well, to some degree, we'll see how that works when we go to use it. And uh, so, it's it's a very different kind of firearm. Now, for me, like I said, it gives me a capability to have a double action 45 Colt. Some people would say, well, why do you need that? Are you really going to carry that? Yes, I might. Um, now, remember, I live, you know, out in the desert. So what's one of the things that this thing does? It shoots 410 shot shells. And, of course, that can be a self-defense load like Hornady makes. And I think Winchester makes their rounds. Or it could be a, um, you know, a, a type of shot, you know, for uh, some people might use them. For snakes or other pests like that. Some people may think this makes a great nightstand gun for home defense because you can put 45 Colt in it. You can put using the moon clips because they have these little little mini moon clips like this. Let me bring it over here where you can see it maybe. There you go. Each one of those holds two rounds. I think you got three of these, so you could put all six in there like that if you wanted to. What that allows you to do, interestingly enough, is if you have this gun and you put one of those two round moon clips in here, well, gee, you could put 45 ACP. And then in these two, you might want to put 45 Colt. And then maybe in the next two, you want to put 410, two and a half inch 410 shells. So you could have three different types of rounds in there. And then, you know, make sure, you know, when you clear on your operation, your cylinder and everything, set it up so whichever round you prefer to have, you know, first two to go off first, however you want to set that up, you could do that. Now, some people might just put all shot shells in there. Some people might say, I'm going to use it for home defense, and I'm just going to put shotgun shells in there. And, you know, now these... Um, if I remember right, I don't know. I have to. You have to check with Smith and Wesson to see if these are, you know, available in all states. I can't remember what the rule is on that because um, some people, some states may see this as a very small shotgun. <laughs> okay. So, but the nice thing about 45 Colt, right? It's it's a good round. Um, this doesn't have the longest barrel on it, right? Because the barrel is only 2.75 inches long. But remember, you have this part of the cylinder, even though you have the forcing cone, where you're gonna lose some of the energy, it also acts almost like an extended P90 
piece to you know help accelerate the projectile down there when you pull the trigger it ignites the primer um, so uh, so the barrel material like I said is stainless steel and, and of course this cylinder and uh, the rest of it is uh, a scandium so along with the these grips which are you know rubber whatever so we know it's unloaded it's got a lighter trigger than you might expect I don't want to dry fire too much I usually like these snap depths you can see that's a pretty robust trigger pull and if you use this one I'd say it's about three or four pounds maybe the other one, yeah, it could be 10, 12 pounds. It's, it's pretty robust. But once again, it's also got night sights on it. So it might be a good nightstand again. So some people might. I Me, mean, I saw it as a way to have 45 Colt. So anyway, I've kind of rambled on quite a bit. Uh, once again, one of the things you might want to do with these is if you get a chance, you might want to try to order yourself a holster if you think you're going to buy one of these or if you bought one. I went ahead and ordered one um, because I knew I was going to want that gun. And because of that, um, I went ahead and we'll talk more about this. But this is a holster from DeSantis, right? You can wear it. It uh, looks like you can wear it, from what I can tell, as a cross draw or uh, on your hip. This is a right-handed one, of course. For me, being, you know, right hand is my predominant hand. And just to show you the other moon clips, in case you were wondering, well, what if you want to put a full round of 45s in there? They have these here. Now, I know there's some people, uh, I think Pat RMG had a, had a, uh, on his, uh, channel had a tool he showed you some tools that you can get to make it easier to use the moon clips yeah if i remember right and uh, it's a great channel so he's got information like that i'll see I'll, I'll share that with you if i get one of those but uh sorry this video is taking a little longer but it's just you have to really think about why you want one of these because it's not you know it's not maybe the gun for everybody Plus, you know, 410, 45, and 45 ACP, you know, they have their own amount of recoil. And this gun, although it is a large gun, it is still only 29.9 ounces, so it's going to have recoil. So we'll see how it does at the range. So let's take a look at it once again. Nice look to that. There you go. There's your Smith & Wesson logos once again three desert boy always says be safe out there whatever you're doing and if you like this video please like comment and subscribe bye now